marvelous Monday morning. It is a marvelous Monday morning. We made it through the weekend hot, hot, hot. Some rain, some heat, some mugginess, but get ready. Buckle your seat belts and get your ice bags and get your ice packs and turn your AC down because the hot weather is a coming and a coming and a coming. And my guest today that y'all won't get to see for a little bit, but you will get to see her in a little while, she uh, has on a sundress, and it's because it's going to be hot this weekend, and, and we know it's going to be hot all week long. So prepare, stay hydrated, get ready, and enjoy this week. Boy, did I have a great weekend. Um, spent some time in the middle of almost 300 acres of land with a beautiful pond, a beautiful cabin, and we're gonna show you a little bit of that footage shortly. Absolutely gorgeous. We are previewing this property for a buyer and it is, it is delightful to say the least. It is absolutely gorgeous. Over the weekend, I was going through files and doing some things and getting organized and, and thinking about my new trip to the doctor because I've had to move some medical records and send them to another practice. And when I did, I was doing the research on the practice and I found that my mother's oncologist works with this team of doctors. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? So as I was going through mother's records, I also found a condolence card from that very doctor. And I thought, how weird is this world? How weird is this world that we all have these connections? And at the same time I'm going through these files, I found something that I want to read to y'all because this kind of tells you, Mom and I kind of think I'm on the same page. As most of you know, I'm still wrestling with making a decision about whether or not to go with new experimental treatment for cancer. This was written by my mother on December the 8th, 2000. After reading the information I have on it, my first reaction was no. Just go with the usual treatments, chemo, radiation, etc but I'm holding off on making it final. The seemingly sensible logic I'm using, however, should work no matter what I decide. That being, if I'm meant to live, I will, and if not, so what? One of my Christmas wishes is that each of you will rejoice with me over the fact that I have lived 70 years with no serious illnesses. When you look back at my record as it was and look at how well God has treated me in spite of it, it's been like a miracle. How many miracles does a person expect to have? If I have no more, I've had plenty. But they will tell me that God hasn't given up on me yet, and I believe that. Let's all, especially my children, be nothing but glad that I've had it as far as I have, as easy as I have so far. Whatever God decides for my future will be just as generous as he has been with my past. Since I finally quit smoking, he may even double up some. And I was so proud of my mama because, y'all, my mama smoked for over 60 years. I hope each of you have great fun with the season. Love you. And that, that's from my mama. And I said, you know, going through this stuff, it's been such a joy and such a blessing to find things that she wrote as I've traveled through this journey. And when we passed the July 8th date, that was the date of her death and exactly my age, I almost had this sigh of relief. I made it. I did it. I, I didn't die the same age as my mom. Yay, I made it. Then I find this from Mama. This is a letter to the editor. This is one of the things I really love about the Pickens County Progress. They publish your letters to the editor often. They don't always publish them, but they do quite often. Since so many people in this area have cared enough to pray for me during the treatment I've been receiving for the melanoma cancer, I wanted to share good news with you. The doctor has just informed me that many scans, x-rays, and other lab tests show that the tumor has subsided and that I will require only one more treatment, healed. I thought about standing on the street corner and yelling about it, but that might embarrass the family, though some of them have assured me that they will gladly join me in such a venture. I've been receiving a new and experimental treatment, and it seems to have worked. I do believe, though, that the biblical instructions placed a gigantic part in causing this miracle to happen. There were mental and emotional changes that I needed to make, and some physical, smoking, for instance. 
when my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will, I, I will, hear their, I will heal their land. I honestly believe that my grace period for some things has just about run out. I'm strongly convinced that my lukewarm lifestyle had to be altered. So, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Thank you, folks. So if you see me hooting and a hollering around town, don't lock me up. I'm overdue and entitled to it. God bless you all. Saturday, I took my bandage off and showed my best friend the progress my arm has made. She cried. I cried. Um, it is healing. It is looking good. There's going to be a scar. Who cares? I still have nerve damage, and it's still very um, tight and tingly and a weird feeling, but it is alive, and that is so amazing. So your prayers, your calls, your texts have meant so very, very much to me, and when I found what it did for my mama in 2001, I think about, I'm very thankful for these records of mamas. I've, I'm thankful for her influence in my life. I'm just thankful. I'm, I've got so much to be thankful for. And one of the things I'm thankful for is I have an excellent crew here at ETC. And one of them had a birthday last week, and I forgot his birthday. So y'all, <coughs> I would fire, on my, fire myself for a little bit. I forgot Trace's birthday. So happy, happy birthday to Trace. I brought him a birthday present today, and she's in the, in the um, studio room with him. And she's in there giggling and laughing, and she's having fun, and she's baby Zanna. <laughs> so today is another baby Zanna day. It is a wonderful time to celebrate life and to celebrate tomorrow. And my saying for today is, life's greatest thrill is tomorrow, is tomorrow. If we live to see tomorrow. Last night I got a message from a dear, dear friend, and her nephew, 22 years old, went to be with Jesus yesterday. If we have tomorrow, it's a great day. It is a great day. So celebrate this moment, celebrate this life, celebrate every moment that we can, and be kind and be good to somebody. Now, today, I'm going to be good to y'all because Miss Hilda always gives us tickets to give away for the George Mountain Fair, and I'm going to have some in the near future. But I want to remind y'all of all the people that are going to be there and my way of doing that is to go back to where we were lucky enough to interview some amazing talents. And we're going to showcase many of those talents today. We're going to share you some of the footage. We're going to remind you that you can see great country, great gospel, great bluegrass artists at the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds. And it is still so cheap to get in the door. It includes all kinds of things and you need to go, but you also need to be watching here and then watching my Facebook page because I'm going to be able to give away some tickets. So it is about enjoying these beautiful mountains, and today we have a preview of these beautiful mountains. Justin and I went out on Saturday and previewed a piece of property. It is just under 300 acres, and it is absolutely spectacular. It is beautiful. It comes with a cabin. It is amazing, and it truly is a, a great price for a family, for a church, for somebody who wants to go in there and just have a beautiful place to bring people, to enjoy people, to go hunting, to go fishing, to go camping, whatever. I, I can't imagine what I would do with it, but it is just fantastic. We're going to share that video with you now. We're also going to start sharing our interviews, and, and you will get to see some of my favorite. Sadly, Charlie Pride passed away not long after we interviewed him. Earl Thomas Conley not long after we interviewed him. It's crazy. Connie Smith is still here. Very thankful for that. Sissy Lynn is still here, and she has been fighting cancer. So we are so blessed. We lost Loretta Lynn. We lost her daughter, Betty Sue. You know, so many people have left us. Be life's greatest thrill is tomorrow. Put that on your refrigerator, live it, and believe it. So we're going to go now to a video of beautiful acreage near Resaca, Georgia. This is absolutely fantastic. I would love to show it to you. I would love to sell it to you. It is gorgeous. So here we go.
welcome to the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds. We are in beautiful, beautiful Hiawassee, Georgia. Now, I came here listening to a song called Smoky Mountain Memories, and I found the man responsible for this song when I got here, Mr. Earl Thomas Conley. Yeah, I gave you a little different version tonight. You did. <laughs> now, let's talk about, this is a 1974 song? Yeah. And you don't usually do it in your program? No, we don't. No, we, we've changed so many band members and stuff, and we used to do it all the time. I've got a whole bunch of stuff i got to get back into the show, but... Let's talk about the writing of that song. Yeah, I wrote it with Dick Hurd. Uh, he had a false name, Richmond Devereaux, <laughs> or something uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. Anyway, he passed away a few years back and um, invited me. I was living in Huntsville, and I wanted to know if I had any good ideas for songs, and I just gave him this idea. And we sat there and wrote it and everything, and then I got and Mel Street recorded it. Whose and version do I like the best? Yours. Pardon me? I like your version better. Do you? I've listened well, to You both. didn't tonight, though. Tonight? <laughs> I didn't like tonight, my version at all. Tonight well, I couldn't remember. Those nights. We do I'll have to you. say you've got the flu. You've oh, the stuff is just makes you crazy. Yeah. Er. <laughs> but, but great performance. Well, thank um, you. Love Angel in Disguise. You do? So many number one songs. Now let's talk about that. I got 21, more. 21 number one songs? All together. Then we had, I don't know how many top tens, but we had more number ones and then we had top tens because shortly after I got started, I started having number one. So we went out and found the best. If uh, by the time I got started, real good, but about holding her and loving you, I ran out of my own songs. And uh, Robert Byrne and Walt Aldridge and a bunch of boys from Muscle Shoals. I used to go to Muscle Shoals all the time and do demos and work with those guys over there when I was living in Huntsville. And so they caught on to. Uh, my style and wrote songs for me so I had a whole bunch of them in a row that they wrote. Your style is very unique. Yeah, Today it is just as it was 20 years ago? Yeah well let's see the last thing I recorded was uh, 91 with Keith Whitley. Mm -hmm. Well that's when it went to number one. Now what's that one called? Brotherly Love. Brotherly Love. Yeah. Did he live to see that released? No. No, no, okay. he, no he didn't make it that long. We're going to take a break right now, and we're going to go to some of your music, because we led into this with my favorite song, Smoky Mountain Memories. Now we're going to go to the one that Keith didn't live to see released. Um, did it go to number one? Yeah. Do you think um, tonight when you did that, does it bring back memories of him? Yeah. Sometimes you want to feel like crying up yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Especially if the crowd's real good. Well, we're going to take a break right now, and we're going to go to that song and let our audience hear that. Cool. And maybe some of them will remember this song. Number one... Uh, written by who? Oh, now that, now you ask me a hard question. I, I know their names, but it's more than one person. Two or three guys, I think. Great song. And Great we, did, song. we didn't record it at the same time. We did. I did my piece while he was on the road, and he came in and finished it up when he when he got in off the road. So. Oh wow! Well, tonight we're going to show him a version of you and your band tonight doing this song. There you go. Now, who sang Keith's part tonight? Mike Powell. Mike Powell. Let's go to the song. The banjo Brother. and mandolin player. Uh huh. We saw that. <laughs> the guitar we saw that. guy. Let's go to some great Earl Conley music. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing and Ball Ground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779.
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Today is a tribute to many of the artists in country music and bluegrass and gospel music that come to the Georgia Mountain Fair for many, many years, over 60 years, over 70 years, I believe. There have been so many artists who chose to come to these mountains one time, two times, three times. Once they come, they become addicted to the lifestyle, the people, the food, just, just the wonderful atmosphere. And I hope that you will make time to go to the Georgia Mountain Fair. It will begin in August. It's like the third week of August. I want you to get out and enjoy these beautiful mountains. Today we're going to go to one of my favorite trips. We're going to Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. This was Miss Loretta Lynn's home, but we're going to interview her daughter, Sissy. And Miss Sissy has battled cancer. She is doing well. But when I pulled up her store last night, it no longer says Sissy's store. It says Loretta Lynn's store. So I don't know if they, if the Loretta Lynn Enterprises is taking it over, but it kind of made me sad. So I think that it's time that we honor these amazing people. Sissy traveled with her mom. She traveled on her own for many years. She had a great trips into Canada where people just absolutely loved her music. She sounds a lot like her mom. So we're going to visit now with one of my favorite folks, Miss Sissy Lynn. Welcome to Sissy Lynn's Country Store. Every time we come here to visit, we have to stop and visit with Sissy Lynn. Now, talk about a great cook. She'll have some homemade potato salad. She'll have some homemade chicken salad. She'll have so many good things to sell to the campers. She's an awesome, awesome lady, and she will be singing in concert with her mom every time there's a concert here on the property that Miss Sissy and her husband John sing for you too. You'll get to meet her, you'll get to know a little bit about her, but be sure when you come camping at Hurricane Mills that you stop at Sissy's store and you get to know a little bit about this amazingly hardworking, great woman. Let's run inside and see what Sissy's cooked today. Welcome back to Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. We're visiting with Sissy Lynn and something smells so good. Is it the potato salad? Is it the BLT? Is it the coleslaw? Sissy, what have you been cooking? Everything. We cook everything. Everything, everything we make, we cook to order. So it I smells so good yeah, in here. It does. It, it, we just fix two smoked sausage sandwiches and fried bologna. Oh, fried bologna, <laughs> fried bologna. We are near your mom's ranch. Yes. Now, this is your second store. You used to have a small store up in the campground. Up in the campground. Okay. And uh, we closed it and moved over this here. This is big time. Yeah. This is big time. Yeah. You also have, what do we call this, the music barn? Music barn, museum, gift shop, all wrapped in one. Pictures, incredible pictures, such a history, such yeah. a history. Let's talk a little bit about a photo of you. You were drop dead gorgeous. I still clean I up good. <laughs> you do. I still can. Now, touring, what was that like? I, I loved that. I loved the singing. Mm -hmm. I love um, I love to entertain. Uh, business part of it, it ain't worth having. No. But, you know, the, the 
everybody I got to open for so many people. Got to open for Conway. I mean, oh, I was Susie, lucky. what was that like? Well, you know, it was funny because at first it kind of hurt my feelings because he didn't even speak to me. Oh, and wow. I'm like, you have sung with Mom all these oh, years wow. and you're not going to. But Conway was shy. Really? And then after the show, that's when he, you okay. know, acknowledged and stuff. Uh -huh. But I, I think it's, you know, I don't know. It was just I think he was just a shy person. Yeah. But Nobody I, knew that about him. Mm -mm. No, but he was a really... I mean, he loved Mom. The best duo in country music history, your mother and Conway Tweedy. Yep. Never got any yep. better than that. No. And I think when that was lost, maybe lost forever? It lost, well, all the duets are lost. Mm -hmm. They don't have such a thing as duets anymore. They have conglomerations Could we whatever. have Sissy Lynn and somebody? <laughs> Who can we put Sissy Lynn with? Well, my husband does a pretty dang good well, job of singing. <laughs> John? Where is John? <laughs> well, right now he's still sleeping. He works okay. nights. Okay. And he works security on Mama's Ranch. Okay. And now uh, he'll be down at the show tonight. So. Looking so forward to tonight's show, yeah. and we will be sitting front row. I'm so excited. You're lucky. I'm so excited. Well, you know, we killed three people, and we buried four, and then we've hung two just to get these front and, row seats. And did you know the law has called looking for yes, you also? Yes, I know. Don't tell them we're in there really big. <laughs> we're going to be on the front row <laughs> yeah, because yeah. the chief of police actually works the front <laughs> of the stage. We're <laughs> so excited. We've made many great. trips up here, never got front row seats. This oh, is going to be incredible. You, yeah. We want to encourage people to come here to Hurricane yes. Mills. Come and stop, stop and see Betty Sue oh, first. Yeah. Spend a little bit of money up there. Save the bulk of your money to come down here and buy all your groceries. And eat. They, <laughs> we can right. feed. We're, uh, I can feed you whatever. You know. You can do tour buses coming in oh, here. Yes. You can feed a whole bus yes, load, can't I, you? and have done. And then I've done them 30-minute shows. Right. You know, so they got the cook uh -huh. and the entertainer wrapped She's up this one. She's got it all. You <laughs> what got more it can all. you ask for? You are a little bit of Doolittle Lynn and a whole lot of Loretta Lynn. Talk about your parents. Uh, that, I, it's hard for me on words with mm -hmm. them. You know, uh, my daddy was my life. Mm -hmm. uh, when daddy's I, girl. A daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. When I lost him, I lost five years of my life, actually. Mm -hmm. It was like I just went nuts, you know. Wow. And it took me a while to pull up my boots and mm -hmm. say, girl, you put you it back together on. now. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I can't imagine life without her. You know, she holds, I worried about our family staying together, right. and, um, but mom has flat kept us all together. And, and tonight we will see family, family, oh, family. Yeah. There'll be nieces, granddaughters. You Ernest never Ray. know. Lots of, sometimes Crystal Gale comes, Peggy Sue comes. Mm -hmm. I mean, mom never knows. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids, all of us kids are always there. Mm -hmm. uh, if, she, if she needs us, we're there, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, We heard you sing last time we were here. Yep. I you got sang, a big mouth, don't I? And I still <laughs> think you sing more like your mom than anybody. I, I, I you think. Do. I'm you do. You've nailed you know, it. You know, yeah. I'm yeah. country. I, I tell everybody I'm a better entertainer than I am a singer. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a good singer. I'm not a great singer. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love people. And right. I love to entertain. And I guess for me, singing is I have to sing and what I sing, I feel. We're standing in front of a 1911 bridge that was completely destroyed by the floods that came through Nashville in early May. This is an amazing sight. Uh, this bridge was built in 1911. It will never be the same. Hurricane Mills will never be the same. But seven weeks later, open. Business is great. Folks are piling in from everywhere, from New York to Canada to Illinois. We've met so many people. This is an amazing tribute to a living legend, Miss Loretta Lynn, how hard people came together and worked to restore Hurricane Mills back to the grandeur that we were used to seeing when we came here many times. It's an amazing trip, but don't forget when you come to Hurricane Mills, stop by and see what's left of the 1911 bridge. I guess for me, singing is I have to sing, and what I sing, I feel. Mm -hmm. 
and it comes from the heart. And right. I think that's what it's always been for mom. I think that's why you're still here. You know, Sissy Lynn could do anything in the world, and you choose to operate a store on your mom's property. No, it's my property. It, well, okay. Near <laughs> no. your mom's, near your mom's <laughs> ranch. Okay. It was a gift from mom. Okay. It belongs to Sissy. Okay. Yeah. But it is truly about family. Yes. It is about family. Oh, yeah. My locals, you know, in the summertime, we have the tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, but my locals have blessed me to no end. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, they are awesome people that live around here. They've been good to me, and they've You're supported me. You're open year-round? Yes, year-round, six days a week, 12 hours a day. Wow. Now, is your husband involved in this business or just working with No, him? he's involved in this and then okay. works nights for And work. we're going to show a photo of you and John, handsome man. Yes. Now, tell me a little bit about him. Well, actually, he worked singing as over at Mom's on the ranch years before I ever knew him. Wow. You know, and uh, then once we met, we dated for a while and then ended up getting married, and mm -hmm. it's been that way ever since. Now, you have two children, and I understand the son could sing if he would. Yeah. What's wrong with that boy? He, he makes a better living doing what he's okay, doing. Okay, okay, nothing's wrong with that boy. Exactly. That's good. Nothing's wrong with that boy. No, no. He, he, uh, you know, he he sings like Vince Gill. He's wow. just an awesome singer. Wow. But he is works in the business industry and is excellent. In fact, he is enrolled in Emirate College in uh -huh. Georgia right now, mm -hmm. getting his master's. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Smart kid. And my daughter has blessed me with two of the beautifulest grandchildren you could ever uh -huh. have in your life, a little uh -huh. boy and girl. So I wow. feel like I'm lucky. It's all about family, yes. isn't it? Oh, yeah. If you had not got family, you ain't got nothing, honey. Now, when your daddy left here and went to be with the Lord, your mama had a lot to handle. Yeah. Did mama need your support during that time? I think everybody's. She kind of locked herself away for about a year mm -hmm. and then, you know, decided the same thing I did. It just took me a little longer. Right. Uh, that, you know, you can't... You can't just give up no. because they're not going to want you to do that. That's right. They're going to be mad at you. Your today. daddy would be pushing your mama saying, go, Loretta, go, go, go. Or what he would do yeah. is he'd say, Loretta, you give your word mm -hmm. that you're going to do it. Yeah. You know, and that's just the way it is. Let's talk about mom's comeback. We talked about, I love Garth Brooks. Oh, yeah. I love him as a man. I as an entertainer, too. you either love him or you don't right. like him. I love him. He is an awesome man. Talk about what he did for your mama. When mom come back out on the road after daddy had died, uh, he filled her dressing room, and I'm talking probably 40, 50 dozen roses. Isn't when she amazing? opened the door to her dressing room, you couldn't even get in her dressing room. For all what do you think the florist thought when they get this call? Hey, this is Garth Brooks, and I'd like to order 50 dozen they, roses. They probably, right. yeah. <laughs> they probably had a heart attack. Yeah, they probably had a. But it, mom, it, it, to me, you know, I, I've never met Garth Brooks. Um, you know, like you said, some of his stuff I liked, mm -hmm. some I wasn't right. great. But the man, is, the man to is me, amazing. is one of the greatest men that mm -hmm. I know for mm -hmm. what he's done for my mama. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, your daddy was, I've been to Butcher Holler. I know what it was like to stand in Butcher Holler and to have the opportunity your daddy rescued your mama. Yeah. Well, I think they rescued each other. Amazing story to yeah. start with nothing. We've been yeah. there. We've been down those little roads. We see my time uncle, here. uncle. Yes, we <laughs> saw him. Awesome. He is awesome. <laughs> he, is. he is awesome. But to start from that and to go to this beautiful farm, this beautiful ranch, it is so amazing. She literally started with nothing, and your daddy he pushed her a little bit. His daddy pushed her hard, and and but you know when we lived in Washington State, if somebody come knocking at our door. Your mama gathered up us four kids, and we went and hid in the closet. Really? She was that shy. She wouldn't, wow. so he had to, you uh -huh. know, push her. Uh -huh. And, I mean, she'd sit around and sing to us, uh -huh. and he was like, you're as good as anybody on that radio. Better, you know? better. Yeah. So you need to sing. Yeah. And that's kind of how it, it took place. But Daddy always had Mom's back, you know. Uh -huh. He run the business. He watched out after her. Plus, he was a farmer. You know, I mean, he farmed. We had 6,500 acres, and he farmed it. Right. So. Now, let's talk about the ranch today. We want to encourage people. Come to oh, yeah. Hurricane Mills. Yes. Motocross. Yes. We have the motocross Huge event motocross. in August. Yes. Can we talk a little bit about we that? We have. The motocross comes in. That is, that they ride all year long to be able to qualify to come to Loretta Lynn's. Mm -hmm. Because once they come it's to the Loretta Lynn's, 
they whoever wins they're pro mm -hmm. the the sponsors and stuff are right there mm -hmm. and it's a huge event we'll have 10,000 people in for that week 10,000 bologna sandwiches can uh, you do that uh, yep yeah, sure I can do it <laughs> we do fried we did fried corn on the cob ever had fried corn on the oh, cob oh yeah oh yeah well I never had until wow. a friend of mine said you've got to try this <laughs> uh -huh. you deep fry it that's the best corn you'll ever eat now let's talk a little bit about other things to come here for horses. horses. A lot of horseback riding. We have a we have two week long trail rides uh -huh. during the year okay. where we feed them, entertain them uh, for a week solid, and they ride the trails. Then they can come on the weekends to the Wrangler camp and ride their own, wow. you know, on their own. So and then we have, of course, Mom does three concerts a year here. We've been to one, two, three a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we yeah. that. And, I mean, we have a lot of things to offer. The swimming pool, we've got the creek, the best fishing. You know, I mean, it's there's a lot of things to be done. Talk about bringing it back from the flood. Your mom lost a 1911 bridge. Yeah. Um, the road washed out. The, it, the road, but I have to say, and I told Mama this, because I still feel like all the loss, we're still blessed. Yes. Oh, yeah. We all go to our beds at night and sleep. Right. There's people in Nashville that won't ever see their own beds again. That's right. You know, but what happened, Daddy had what we call a breeding pond mm -hmm. for his fish. Mm -hmm. Well, the road gave away, and therefore the water took all into there and pulled back out. Had that road not give, gave away, it would have taken Mom's meal, all the shops, museum, it would have wiped us out. Now, we toured that museum yesterday. Country music history. Not millions. just that. Oh my gosh. Look at all the presidents. That's oh my what gosh. Mama has sung for Democrat, Republican. Oh yeah. It don't matter. Oh yeah. We're all we all put our pants on the same right. way. Right. She sung for them all, you know. She's done the USO tours. We you know, so many things. I mean, I'm in awe when I walk right. in there, and that's my mom. And it's like, look at the things that she's mm -hmm. done, and the doors that she's opened, and the oh, yeah. people. She sung with Pavarotti. Mm -hmm. Who could sing with Pavarotti? Loretta Lynn. Ten dollars. <laughs> For ten dollars, you get to go in the museum, stay as long as you want. 18,000 square foot museum. Amazing The bus place. that was in the movie is I love that bus. Daddy's love Jeep that, bus. that was in the movie is in there. Daddy's oh, old Mac truck is in there. Mom's Cadillac, the Mercedes, mm -hmm. Hank Williams Sr.'s bedroom suits yeah, in there. I mean, yeah. you name it. Elvis it's has safe. got stuff in there. Cher's got stuff in there. Not just country. Rock yeah. and roll, you name it. Yeah. It, is, it is American music history. Oh, and yeah. if it had been lost, uh, I'd never seen it before. See, see, we've been here time after time after time. We had never gone to the museum until yesterday. And you can't take it all in one no, day, can you? No, absolutely can't not. No, and we want to encourage people. It's $12 to tour Mom's house. Yes. And then it's $10 to for the go museum, in the museum and then to come here and hang out with you tonight talk about that. Exactly. A bit. Well, after Mom's concert, we always try to do something. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do karaoke for a couple hours tonight. Uh -huh. Anybody's welcome to come over, sing, just have fun. You yeah. know, we all Will hang out. Will you be out. singing here tonight? Yep, we'll okay. all be here and we, and we just have fun. It's a good hangout down home country place. Kick your uh -huh. shoes off. Uh, guess who got dressed up and came to see y'all? <laughs> Zanna Jordan, Zanna Jordan, would you look at that TV? No, 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 Nanny, I'm too busy. I'm so busy today. Y'all, I tell you, when I look at the time we spent with Sissy, when I think about the hours and the time I spent listening to Loretta Lynn's music, you can still visit Hurricane Mills. It is still wide open and going strong. Please make plans to go if you have not been there. There will be a great gospel concert there in the fall, and it is one of the best. So make plans to do that. Right now, we're going to go to one of those great stars that we got to interview. Mommy put on a dress for you to sit here and look pretty, and you won't be still. She will not be still. We got to interview Charlie Pride. Never dreamed that COVID would ever be in our life. Never dreamed that COVID would end the life of this amazing man. So I want y'all to sit back. Watch the interview with Charlie Pride. Then we're going to share something that we really love with y'all, and it might be up in your neck of the woods in Blue Ridge. So here we go. With me, favorite locations to interview legends. Today I am with a true legend. Uh, Charlie Pride, the legend of Charlie Pride. He has 36 number one hits. 
He is one of those guys I've listened to all of my long life. <laughs> I am now 63 years old, and I'm happy to say all the periods of my life, it was never a time that your music wasn't touching me. Thank you for doing this interview, and thank you for fighting the Atlanta traffic to get here, because you <laughs> fought the traffic, didn't you? Every time he... Every time we decide maybe we ought to go this, and the other, it, it goes like this a little while. I say, two miles up will be workload. Like, no way around the Atlanta traffic. Um, you are a little bit older than me, and we, we're not going to disclose your age, but you're a little bit older than me. I'm still very active and on the go all the time, and it really does help keep my mind focused. Your mind is on so much. I mean, I'm sitting here listening to your interview. You love baseball. You love traveling. You love performing. You love your grandchildren. And I understand that you're going to leave here tonight and go back to Texas to do some things with your family. Charlie, how do you do all of this? Well, I, uh, what, well, I don't know, but I, I, I just, I just, I just do it. I mean, I don't, I try not to get all uh, sideways about anything. And I uh -huh. just, if it's going to be, we're going to be, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Like, right. I'm, I'm late here, but we're still doing this, what we're supposed right. to do. I'm supposed to do this, what I'm supposed to, what I was supposed to do five prior to getting here, but then, but I've got to go pretty soon. I'm going to have to uh, dress and go do the show. Right, right. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to squinch and scrunch about it. I mean, I'm going to do both you of gotta them. You got to do it. You got to do it. So, I, I don't know other than, I just try to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't, did you ever wake up one morning and say, there's one more thing I want to do? Is there anything that you haven't accomplished you would like to accomplish? Oh, yeah, there's so many things. Uh, I like to make the world a little bit better place uh, than I've already done. I think I've done a pretty good job because You've I've got so, great so job. many fans that love my singing and have treated me so fine and kind. Uh, but it's it's always another plateau. I mean, it's, uh, and I figure the Lord let me stay here for some reason. I mentioned it earlier that I don't. I think it's it's better to just get up and lay down, get up and eat and sleep and lay down. I think it's always felt that there was something more to it than just that. Right. Um, I would think you were an overachiever because you don't just do. You do and you overdo. Have you passed that on to your children? Well, I, I try, but I don't. I don't know whether I've done it. <laughs> I, I, I spoil a lot of. Uh, Especially my daughter. Surely not. <laughs> Angela, you have a daughter named oh, Angela. Oh, she, she, she wears me out. Yeah. I had a daughter named Angela, and a very special young lady. So. Yeah, well, she's special, but don't finger that. We don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get my attention, isn't he? <laughs> He'll tell you right quick. I don't usually pay attention to him, but I, I can tell you something about your music. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who wasn't touched by some of it. And, and we were talking yesterday about our favorite songs. And we all had such different ideas of favorite songs. My favorite is All I Have to Offer You Is Me. That was my first number one. I absolutely fell in love with that song and I wore it out playing it. Does Charlie Pride have a favorite song? Yes. The one? Which one? Yes. The one I'm singing at the moment. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. And that's, that's pretty cool. That's not just Anna making an answer. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. For example, uh, in, uh, in, in we, we go to Ireland, and we have to kind of change, uh, not change, but in, interchange song. Mm -hmm. for, for example, Crystal Chandelier was never a singer, but I've been doing it in my show all these years. When I go to, they, they released it in Ireland as a singer about two or three times. I get ready to do that song. It's oh the crystal the walls tremble. So, oh, wow. so, so, so I'm, I'm loving doing that song. Yeah. I go to uh, Australia, New Zealand. They got uh, uh, the wings of a song. So, so I love singing it when I'm singing that. Yeah. So whatever I'm singing at the moment wasn't just said out of uh, trying to be smitten about it. Mm -hmm. This is the truth. When I'm, it. And I've, I've been blessed with being able to do songs from albums that people love more than they do. What you said a moment ago, what you like. I'll have all the humor with my first number one single. But that's people that go in that album and they pick, pick this one out and they pick that one out. Right. And the reason for that is Jack Clement. Because he said, no, we're not going to put all out all for you and me and then do uh, uh, just an angel to the morning, just throw a whole bunch of songs around. 
we're going to do songs that everything we do, we think it could be a single. If it's an A song, we do make it a double A. If it's a double A, make it a triple A. So we just don't do songs to just throw them in to fill up the album. So I think that's why I sold, I have sold so many albums. Uh, I only had one million something single. That was Kissing Angels of Women, but I've sold all on and out many albums. How many couples do you think started their romance with that song on the radio? Oh, that's all these men? Oh, no. Kissing Angel, good morning. Oh, all I know what women Both feel. Yeah, well, I know what women feel when they're listening to that song. I, I just like received the email from a lady who says, My bro, we were going to school, high school, and I love, we love one another, but we broke up. And we came back together. Now we've been married 35 years. <laughs> Your song, All I Love Is Me, brought us back together. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a break for just a minute because we're going to have to end this quickly because you were running, running late. And my cameraman's giving me a signal, and I don't know yeah, what he my, means. My first so first we're going to find out. Okay, door. we're going to take a break for just a second. One of the main men of all time in the Country Music Hall of Fame. That's right, Sopranos. Yeah. How about a hand, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Charlie Pride? Where are you, Mr. Pride? <laughs> Well, I'm going to give you a gift, and this is my cookbook. 
Chadwick, and this is a gift for your wife. I will give it to her. And it might have a little bit of country cooking in there. There's a little bit of country cooking. I'll just not eat as much as it makes me fat. <laughs> no. Um, I want you to share that with your family. I want you to share the message in there because there's a message of hope in there. That cookbook was done in honor of the Lord. And I want you to share that. And I want you to go out on stage tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your amazing music. So get out there and knock them dead. Thank you. Wow, what an honor to have met and spent time with Charlie Pride. What a great honor. Such a wonderful man, and sadly, COVID took his life. Today, I want to remind y'all, we have some property at 255 Loving Road on the market. We are splitting this property to offer the land and the house with some land separately, which is what everybody's been wanting and waiting for, and we are going to do it. We have the surveyor working on this, and we're going to have the land that has a septic tank in place and water on the right side of the property, and then the house and the garage on the left side of the property. So if you are interested, if you're one of those many people who have looked at it, shown it, talked about it, we are dividing it. So we have the surveyor working on that. But right now, I'm going to take you to this very area because this home... This land is 1.1 miles from Lake Blue Ridge. And we're gonna take you to Lake Blue Ridge and we're gonna let you just sit back and relax and enjoy your air conditioning, enjoy your fans, and keep in mind, you better get you some water, you better stay hydrated because this is gonna be a very, very hot week. So here we go to some of my favorite footage and it happens to be just near the property that we have listed and again, if you're interested in this property, we're going to offer it with about six and a half to seven acres on the right side and then about four acres with the house. If you'll just pick up the phone and call me or Evelyn, we will help you and we will make the magic happen. A brick home, full basement, and a four car garage for your workshop. So it doesn't get any better than this. I hope to hear from you on that. Here we go to beautiful Lake Blue Ridge. <music> 